When Layla met Majnun, it was at a traffic light. He handed her his number at first sight. It all happened very quickly. Soon both of them were aware life can be so good when it's shared. When Layla met Majnun, it was convenient, it would seem, that both of them were living in the city of their dreams. They had no plan to leave, lots of plans to stay. One day that all changed, they had to go away. So Layla and Majnun together left the country. They got on a crowded boat, sailed the Pacific Sea. They were headed to Australia, a place they thought they knew. Then the Australian need took them to Nauru, where Layla and Majnun were kept there in detention on a tiny little island run just like a prison where they were told by immigration dream all that you can but your only pathway off this island is on a boat back to Iran Layla and Majnu, mid the heat and damp, tried to make the best of life in a prison camp. But the strongest of foundations eventually will shake, and the strongest of hearts eventually will break. Layla and Majnu were on the island when one day there came some visitors from the U.N. The next thing Layla knew, she was witness to the scene of her beloved doused in gasoline. Layla saw Majnun in a state no one should be in. Bright flames rising, burning off his skin. Sometimes you can reach a point so beaten down, so tired. The only option that seems left is to set yourself on fire. When Layla met Majnun, 